Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Strong and Balanced. I'm Michaela, and I'll be taking you through today's class. If this is your first time joining us. We ask you to speak to a physician or physical therapist to see if this class is right for you. To start, we'll do a quick warm up. We're going to do some neck rolls first. So, keeping your chest up, you're going to bring your head around in a circle. Around. Nice and controlled. Bring it around. Nice. We'll go one more and then switch directions. And now we'll switch. So now we'll bring it the other way. Coming right around. There we go, we'll do one more. Very nice. Next up, we'll do some arm circles. So now bring your arms up to the side, feet about shoulders apart, keeping that chest up. We'll go around in circles. Go forward to start. And three, two, and backwards. Do the same thing going back. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next up, you can separate your feet a little bit wider. We're now going to go twisting side to side. So you're going to go from one side, we're going to go over to the other. You can swing your arms as you go if you'd like. You can even have a little movement in your hips, going from one side to the next. Again, nice controlled movements. Everyone's looking good. And three, two, and one. Very nice. Our final warm up. Our lower, lower body, you can do it one of two ways. You can do steps side to side, or you can add in a small lunge as you step behind, moving from one side to the next. You can even add in some arm movements as well as you'd like, get a little bit movement back and forth too. And you can see either or the lunge or the steps, up to you, whatever you're more comfortable with. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next up, we get into a balance stance. We have four different balance stances. They get more challenging as we progress. First one is feet together. Our second one is one foot in front of the other. You have a little bit of space between it. You start to bring those feet closer, it gets more challenging. So you go heel, toe. These feet directly in front of each other. Or you go single leg. All right, so you're gonna find your balance stance. Do these next to a wall or countertop, something for support if you'd like. Give yourself a safety net. Get in your balance stance. We're gonna add in some head turns, all right? So you look from one shoulder over to the next. And as you do this, your leg, you, know, you want your legs, nice soft knees. You don't want to lock them up. That'll make it more challenging. And you want a pelvic tilt. So that means shifting your, Hips down, squeezing your belly button in, squeeze those core muscles. That will help with your balance. We'll go three, two, and one. And we'll switch sides. And we'll do the same thing. And here we go. Going from one side to the next. And again, put that chest up. Everyone's looking good. One shoulder over to the next. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next one, we do heel toe raises. So these ones are going to be next to the wall for support if you'd like. You want to go up on your toes and then back on your heels. All right. So, same thing, you want those soft knees. That pelvic tilt coming up and back. And as you're doing it, we're not used to going back on our heels like that. So you want to prevent yourself from leaning too far back with it. So that's where the pelvic tilt comes in handy, right? Use your core muscles, keep yourself upright. And if you need to hold on to something, feel free, or even just fingertips. We'll go two more. And 
There we go. Next up, you can go ahead and we'll be, you can go next to wall if you'd like. We're gonna do a single leg balance exercise. You're gonna kick your leg out to the side and then bend it up in front of you. All right, so you're gonna go off to the side and you bend it in front, kind of like you're marching. So side and then front. So if you need to, you can hold on to something if you'd like, help with support. We'll go all on one side to start. And again, that leg is planted. You want that leg nice and soft. You can have your hands on your hips. And by your side, you can have the arm out to the side to help with balance. You can reset your foot after each movement if you'd like. If you want a little more of a challenge, you can let it hover and don't place it down after each one. You go side to side. Again, or you can set it down up to you. We'll do two more. And final one. Very nice. We're gonna shake out those legs really quick and now we will switch sides. So same thing. Now we're going out to the side, bring it straight up. Going out and in. Nice control with the movements. And the public tilt will be very important with this exercise as well. Do two more. Very nice. We're going to shake out those lights. Now we need a set of weights. And feel free if you don't have any weights at home. If there's anything around your house in the substitution, whether it's you know soup cans, water bottles, if you have bands, whatever you have around, or just go for motion. You need two weights. I'll we'll do two different exercises, all right? So you'll either do front raises, you're gonna keep your arms straight with your palms facing down, and raise weights up towards your shoulders, lower them back down. If you have any shoulder issues, as follows your shoulders. Instead, you will do hammer curl. Bring this weight up and down, keeping your elbows by your side. Move this weight up and down. All right, so we'll go for 40 seconds. For both these exercises, once your feet about shoulders apart, you want that pelvic tilt, so engage that core. All right. So you can either, again, do the front raises. If those bother your shoulders, you can always go to the hammer curls. You can pick whichever you'd like. All right. And you're almost there. Keep it going. Let's do two more. You got two. And final one. Very nice. Place this off to the side. All right, next one, you need a little bit of room. Enough for two, three steps to the side. So you'll start, you have your feet about hip width to shoulder width apart. You can also do this next to a wall or countertop. we will start with a squat motion, all right? So you'll go down to a squat, so you can even do a small little motion here. You're sticking your hips back, coming straight up, or you can hold on to something in front of you. All right, as long as you have your weights, the weight of your body through your heels, push it through your heels, and you're sinking your hips straight back if you're sitting down in a chair. So you go into a squat motion, you don't have to go very far. Then do three steps to the side. So you step sideways, landing on the forefoot, right? Falls your feet. You'll stop, you'll do another squat, and go back the other way, right? So we're going back and forth. You can do it, say, if you need to hold on to the wall, especially for the squat, coming down and up. You hold on to a countertop for the squat or back to chair or something. If you prefer to do a sit to stand, you can do that as well. So your squat, stand all the way up, go to the side, same thing. And with the squat, you can hold your hands in front of you. You can have them over your shoulders. You can keep them out in front of you this way, then by your side. However, it feels most comfortable for you. All right, and again, go as far as you feel comfortable. Don't feel you have to get down on the floor. All right, even if you're doing just a quarter squat right here, that's very good. All right, you got a few more.
Let's do one more down and back. So you'll have your down and back. Very nice. All right. Next up, we'll add in a quick stretch. We'll do a hip flexor. You might also feel it in your calf muscles as well. You can do this against a wall. You can do it also against a countertop if you'd like. And then separate your feet, your legs, so you have one leg in front of the other, all right? The back leg is going to stay straight. You'll be bending the front leg, all right? So you can hold on to something if you'd like. Or next to you, that's also the easier um, option. This front leg, you're going to start to kind of lean forward into that front leg, right? So keep your chest up, driving your hips forward, lean to this front leg. The goal is to feel stretch in the back leg that's straight, all right? See if you start to do it, you don't feel a stretch and your knee starts to go over your toes. You just walk your foot out a little farther and try to get leaning into that front leg, all right? You can hold on to something, give you some support. The key to this, you don't feel it. You want to make sure you bring your chest up. Keep this leg straight. You'll start to feel that stretch a little more back here. You might also feel it in your calf in the back of your leg. And you're gonna again lean forward so you feel that stretch. Once you feel it, hold in that spot, all right? And always ease into stretches. Don't feel like you have to force them, right? Your body might loosen up once it realizes, oh, I'm stretching, this is okay. It'll loosen up a little bit, might be able to get a little more into it. So definitely ease into it, don't force anything. And three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that. Same thing, opposite side now. So Again, separate your feet, back leg straight, front leg bent. Keep your chest up, driving through those hips, bringing your hips forward. If you hold on to something, you can. And get that stretch in the back leg. And we'll hold it. And three. Two and one, slowly come out of that. Very nice. Up next, we're gonna do some heel raises. We're gonna switch up our feet. Now we're gonna have like an upside down V. All right, kind of like a flying V, birds flying south for winter. So you have your toes facing each other, right? Your heels will be out. You're gonna go up on your toes and back down. Feel free if you need a wall, hold on to a wall. And you're coming straight up and down, right? You want those nice soft knees. They don't have to be bent very much, but just a nice soft knee in them. And that pelvic tilt. You're coming straight up and down. Everyone's looking good, almost there. Let's do two more. Got two and final one. Very nice. All right. Next exercise. We'll be doing a march. All right. So you can again do it next thing if you'd like. And we're going to alternate legs. So you're bringing one leg up and then the other. Right. So you're marching back and forth. The key for this one is that pelvic tilt. Right. As you're shifting from side to side, you want to squeeze your core muscles. Right. Do that pelvic tilt. Right, keep the rest of your body still as you raise one leg up and then the other. And again, go as far as your range of motion lets you. Don't feel like you have to bring your leg all the way up to 90 degrees. You're just lifting it up small here. Do that, right? Looking straight up, down, and repeating almost there. And three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, we're going to move down to the floor, right? So feel free, you can take a water break if you'd like, take water with you or take it right now. And move to the floor, you can do it from the floor, you can do it from a mat, from your bed, whatever's most comfortable for you at home. So don't feel like you have to get down on the floor, you can do it from your bed. And you can have a pillow for under your head, neck, if you would like, all right? So take a minute, let everyone get all set up, and then we'll come back meet here for the remainder class, all right?
right. Give it 30 more seconds. All right. We're going to start on our backs. All right. First one on your backs. I'm going to start with some straight leg raises, all right? Bend your back. You have one leg up straight, opposite one bent. For this one, you want to protect your low back. And you also want to engage, you want to get a little more core work out of this as well. Do a pelvic tilt. So a little space between the back and the floor when you lay down. You want to shift your hips down, right? Squeeze your muscles. Try to get right the space between the back and the floor eliminated. Right, so that's the pelvic tilt where you're laying down. So shift those hips down, squeeze those stomach muscles. That engages the core and protects the low back. So this exercise, you can do the pelvic tilt, lift this leg straight up towards that knee, and then lower back down, all right? We'll go for 30 seconds each side. I can't see my timer. All right, should be a little better. And here we go, so we'll straight leg raises. And if you can't hold the pelvic tilt the entire time, you can always, after each one, you can relax and squeeze those muscles again and go into the next one. All right, so you have those two different options. You can hold the entire time. You can always relax after each one. And don't feel like you have to also bring this like all the way up to the other knee. Go as far again as your range of motion lets you. You don't want to bring it all the way up. Let's do two more. Very nice. Now we'll switch sides. The so same thing. Here we go. Raise this up, lower it down, and repeat. And nice controlled movements. I don't want the legs swinging up and down. Let's do two more. You got two. And final one. Very nice. All right, next one will be on your backs. We're gonna do a bridge. All right, so you have your knees bent, feet about hip width apart. You can have your arms by your side. And push through your heels, lift your back and hips up off the floor, and then lower back down. All right, so you're raising straight up, lowering down, and repeating and pushing through those heels. All right, we'll go for 30 seconds and here we go. And raising those hips up, lowering down and repeating. If you want more of a challenge, you can always add a slight pause to the top of the movement, hold it for you know, two or three seconds and then lower down. Everyone's looking good. Keep it up, almost there. Let's do two more. Very nice. All right. Next up, we're gonna do a quick stretch. We do a knee to chest stretch. All right. There's two ways you can do this based on your flexibility and tightness level. So both ways. You have one leg bent. Grab behind the knee of one leg and gently pull it in towards your chest. All right. If you want more of a stretch, get, it gets a little more aggressive. You can straighten out the opposite leg and you'll hold it, right? So you either have the opposite leg bent or straight, up to you. And we'll hold this stretch. And same thing as before, don't force anything. Don't, the spot where you feel that stretch, you can hold it right there. And three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that. 
And now switch sides. And three, two, and one. Very nice. Slowly come out of that one. All right. Next up, we're going to go on to our sides. We're going to start with clamshells. So your legs bent on one side. You can have either your arm or a pillow underneath your head. You're going to keep your feet together. Lift this top leg off the bottom one. Lower it and switch. All right. And we're going to repeat this movement. You want to make sure your hips stay stacked over each other. You don't want to roll backwards or forwards, right? You want to make sure you're really isolating these hips and glute muscles for this exercise. All right. The moment you start to roll over, it takes those muscles out of the picture. Again, nice controlled movements. You can even pause the top of the movement if you'd like for a little more of a challenge. Let's do two more. Very nice. Take a quick break. Now we're going to stay on this side. We're going to do a reverse clam now. So now your knees will stay together. You're going to lift that top foot off the bottom one, lower it down, and repeat. All right, so you're keeping your knees together, lifting that foot up off the bottom one, and repeating. And let's do two more. Very nice. Now we're going to roll over onto the other side. We will be doing the same exact thing this side. All right. So same thing. You want your legs bent, feet together. We're going back to the clamshells, all right? So you're lifting up this top leg, lowering it down and repeating and keeping your hips stacked over each other. And then keeping those feet together, but it's good, here we go, almost there. Let's do two more. Very nice. And we'll give it a quick rest. And then we're gonna switch to the reverse planche, keeping your knees together, lifting up that bottom leg. All right. Give another few seconds. And three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift up that foot, bring it down, and repeat. Almost there. See your final few. Let's do two more. And two. And final one. Very nice. Nicely done, everybody. Thank you for joining Strong and Balanced. I will see you all next time and enjoy the rest of your day.